What are the rules around school concerts and things like that? Hi, I'm attorney Gordon Firemark, and this is Asked and Answered, where I answer your entertainment law questions to help you take your career in business in the entertainment industry to the next level. A reader writes in with this question. I manage a theater in a high school. We have a half a dozen or so different types of talent shows each year. There are two common things that happen in these shows. First, they want to play music before the event and during the intermission and sometimes after, I presume. I'm guessing a small rights license from ASCAP and BMI would take care of that issue. But what concerns me is the contestant number one in a variety show, for example, who sings a song to a background track, or number two, the garage band that covers a current hit. Or, number three, a lip-sync battle that uses short cuts of all the latest hits. If it's a public performance, do these events require grand rights licensing? It seems like the answer is yes, and that's a huge mess no one in the schools is paying attention to. The reader writes in, I'm, I'm afraid that, I'm, uh, that we're all going to get blasted with huge lawsuits. Worse, I don't want to be the one who asks the question and causes every talent show in America to get canceled. Well, this is a great question. The good news is that all of the uses that were described in this uh, question are what we call non-dramatic performances. So the rights are going to be covered by ASCAP, BMI, and the third society, CSAC. Now, grand rights is really only implicated when you're performing the songs either in context within the musical play for which they were written, like you're doing a production of Oklahoma or something, or when you're using a song within the context of a new dramatic performance. Anytime there's a storyline, a plot, or those kinds of things, and a heavy use of lights and costumes and sound and, and cues and all that kind of stuff. Usually, these uses are marked by those things. Sets, props, props costumes, blocking, choreography, lighting, sound design, all that stuff. Now, there's a gray area that comes up with dance performances. Since dance performances can tell a story, imagine a ballet, for example, a dance performance might be viewed by music publishers as a grand rights use. Now, I don't think I've ever heard about an ordinary, you know, high school or something like that being targeted by music publishers over these kinds of things. But a dance-specific school, maybe, uh, would be. Not the private, uh, regular private and public um, uh, secondary schools, for example. But if you Google the words Burbank Choir Copyright, you will find out that there is a lawsuit going on. The Burbank High School Choir is defending a lawsuit over their specific arrangements uh, and cuts and compilations of songs for their performances. Now, this is a show choir. These are, uh, you know, big productions. They're creating derivative works when they do this, cutting a bunch of uh, pop songs together in, in ways that weren't intended by the original uh, writers and so on. And so that's not covered by ordinary small performing rights that are administered by ASCAP, BMI, and CSAC. So the tide on this may be shifting just a little bit, and that case is worth watching, especially as regards that lip-sync battle hypothetical you described, since it's using short clips rather than whole songs. But there are other defenses that might come up in that place, something called de minimis, which just means that the use in question is too small to make a mountain out of a molehill with, uh, or fair use that we've talked about. So the best thing you can do if you are getting into one of these situations where you think it's in that gray area is consult with someone like me, an entertainment attorney, an intellectual property attorney. It may be that your school district has a, a, an established policy on these kinds of things. You just have to go and ask. But get some advice before you do it just to play it safe. And if you have a question you'd like to see here on Ask and Answered, visit firemark.com questions and let me know. I'll see you next time.